Just in tonight, two new tracks for tropical storms brewing in the Atlantic and a wave on the way. This is News 6 at 11. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden in for Lisa Bell. One of those systems is about to make landfall as soon as tomorrow. So let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells. He's pinpointing its arrival in what else we're watching tonight. Tom. Hannah's out there in the Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm. This is what it looks like on the satellite image. It's starting to look symmetrical. See how the bands are coming around and wrapping up pretty well in the eye. Boom, you can dot it right there. Not as jagged as it was earlier today. And look at this, pressure's down to 992 millibars. That's an eight millibar drop in the last six hours. The winds are up to 65 miles per hour. With about 18 hours to go before it makes landfall, this is looking more and more likely to be a Cat 1 hurricane at landfall time. Meanwhile, out in the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Gonzago getting beat up pretty well. This is all good news for this storm. We'd love to see it go away. It is barely a tropical storm, and the new track gets rid of it. By Saturday into Sunday, with the winds down to 35 miles per hour, it dissolves into an open wave, which is all good. But just when you get rid of one, here comes another one. Knock, knock, knock it on the door. An Invest 92L is out there tonight across the ocean. Came off the coast of Africa about 36 hours ago. It's looking pretty wild, too. We'll talk about that in a whole lot more, as well as rain patterns for your weekend a little later. Thank you, Tom.